Hi booktube, I'm here with hashtag rambooks video number two. Um, if you don't know, this is review every day in May um, for me and this is my second review. And it's going to be for Batman Year One, uh, which I read on my phone, so I don't have something to show you, sorry. Um, it was written by Frank Miller. It was published in 1987, and it's a DC comic featuring Batman, obviously. Um, now, just a bit of a summary. This is this book is considered the origin story of Batman. Um, you know, it it really established the um, the canon of you know his parents being killed, him taking on his fear of bats him going away to be trained and coming back and setting up his uh, particular style of vigilante justice. And so this book concentrates on his first year. Um, I'd argue that it's less about Batman and Bruce Wayne and more about Jim Gordon, um, who coincidentally is also um, having facing his first year as a police officer in uh, Gotham. And uh, then we get a bit of Catwoman as well. Yeah, so let's get into it. I'm gonna let you know right off the top that this disappointed me. Um, primarily because the story just jumps from place to place. You're kind of dropped in the middle of the scenes that really don't have any significance or any explanation um, without any preamble or context of what those scenes are, what's going on. Um, I felt the, the volume uh, was quite short. I don't have the amount of pages it was, but I felt like um, because of that disjointed and the jumping all over the place and all this kind of unnecessary stuff that there wasn't as much depth as I was expecting in kind of like the, the first year of Batman. Um, and I think that also had to do with a lot of it concentrating more on Jim Gordon. Um, I really think the, the book is uh, most comparable to action movies of like the 80s and 90s where it's just kind of like, yeah, we're men, let's be men and beat people up and, uh, you know, let's not have too much going on, maybe a little bit here and there, but, you know, yeah, that's what this book feels like. It feels like Lethal Weapon um, featuring Batman and Jim Gordon. Um, yeah, I, I think I, I felt really disappointed because I'm so used to reading um, comics featuring Batman that deal a lot more with his moral issues and such in a bit more depth than just kind of like on the surface. Um, I think the book would have been better off if it was called Gotham Year One um, because it really talks about a lot of the origin stories of other people too, as I said, Jim Gordon and Catwoman. Um, along with, with Batman at the same time. Um, Gordon is actually the most interesting character in it as well, I guess because we spend so much time with him. Um, it kind of annoyed me that uh, Miller made references to his past but really decided to keep it mis mysterious, not actually tell you, you know, what went on in, in Gordon's past that made him the person he is. Um, I really can't remember too much about Batman and Bruce Wayne. He's kind of like a non-entity. Um, you know, there's there's scenes where it kind of he sucks at being a vigilante. Uh, he's trying out new things. Like there's one scene where he calls in a bunch of bats to help him, and I just was laughing out loud because I just found it so hilarious that you know all of a sudden there's this big swarm of bats uh, coming out, and I was like, "What's going on?" And um, I don't think it was meant to be funny, but it, it was. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you a few pictures on my phone here. Let's uh, try this out. Um, so here we have Jim Gordon and his wife there. Um, you know, it's kind of very sparse, just kind of concentrating on the characters. Um, here we have a full color scene with Batman uh, attacking his first um, bad guys there. And I don't know if you can tell, but the, uh, the script is... Um, Oh, what's it called? Cursive. And then we have scenes like this where it's just black and white with little splashes of color. Purple and yellow there. Um, yeah, so that's the art style. Um, really quite gritty. Um, detailed in some places, detailed not in, not in other places. Um, 
I think the uh, overall the book kind of really suffers in comparison to other books but you have to appreciate its place in in comic book history because this book this these issues uh, stood as a turning point for when um, comic books became geared towards adults because um, you know it dealt with adult issues it dealt with prostitution and pregnancy as you saw in that in that panel with Jim Gordon and with uh, not just you know not just beating up bad guys but kind of getting more of a story going along um, so I, I, I appreciate that um, and it also really laid out the origin story um, that we all know because every Batman movie has to feature it um, even if it's a sequel <laughs> it's so annoying um, but overall I found there's no really like there's no themes or philosophy or kind of thoughts that I had coming out of it it was just kind of like you know that was that was okay um, let's move on to something else yeah so that's that's my thoughts um, my question to you is do you think that uh, comic books like this can become outdated um, and let me know what you think thank you for watching